Hey, what's going on guys? Stonet here and welcome back to our Let's Play Minecraft series. This is our third episode of the series and guys, if you haven't seen episodes one and two, we got a ton of progress and a lot of stuff done in them. So make sure you go check them out. The links will be in the description and they're the last two uploads on my channel. So since that last episode, so again, if you haven't seen episode two, at least make sure you go watch the end of that and then come back because we have got some craziness done here in our world. And this thing is absolutely insane. So I will show you guys the farm and what we have done. It is working very well, as you can see. Um, the way the killing chamber works is there's magma blocks in there, and then I have hopper minecarts directly underneath the um, uh, magma blocks. Sorry, I'm like I'm like I'm like losing it. I've been working on this too long. Uh, and then I've got hoppers underneath, and they feed directly into this chest. Now the problem is, as of right now, we are full. So, really quickly, uh, let's just empty some of this out of here. This is probably going to take like a long time, but hang on just one second. I just want to keep collecting, at least until I'm done talking. Let's just keep collecting these. We're going to just absolutely fill up these chests with stuff. And yeah, uh, storage is something we're going to be looking at doing today or in the next episode because we have a big project today. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's talk about this. So, this is working very, very well. I am going to change up the way the killing chamber is done. Um, I kind of want to disperse them maybe into a bigger area and then just have the same thing with more hoppers But we won't do that yet because we don't have all the iron uh, for the hoppers that we need But anyways, is this still working? Why isn't this working? Oh, no, there it is. They're coming in. Okay, so this is working very very well I will show you what we've done. So and let's just get rid of this creeper right away. Do I have torches? Okay, hang on Let's just make sure that we get rid of all the, the threats and put these down because I forgot um Two, he's two hits, three hits, sorry, Ooh, okay, we got him. Um, anyways, we have got these massive, there's eight in total, um, holding tanks that spawn the guardians. So essentially what this is, is there's a ton, and I mean, I mean a ton of fence gates. This took me forever to put in, and it was a lot of glass too, but we had our little super smelter over there. Um, but essentially what happens is there's source blocks at the top for every block. I put them all in and then I covered the tops with prismarine. We'll go up in a minute, but I covered the tops because I read on the wiki that if there was uh, any chance that the sunlight on the top could hit the water source blocks, there's like a 10% chance less of them spawning and that seemed to really make a massive difference. There's also ways that you can make sure or make these be able to be turned on and off, meaning you can like have dispensers at the top with water buckets. I didn't bother putting that in because number one, I was too lazy to figure out how to do it. And I mean, well, I mean, I knew how to do it, but I just didn't want to do anything else for this farm. I just wanted it to work because it's been taking like forever uh, to put together. So when we move that, we'll just have to place a block and kind of block it off and we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, it's the same thing mirrored on each side. Um, I'm not exactly sure if we're going to change anything about it. It seems to be working very well. And I was worried in the last episode about the rates, but I mean, these rates, they're, they're for me. I mean, I'm not playing on a server where I need to like sell all this stuff. No, this is more than enough coming in. Why is nothing coming in right now? Oh, it is. Okay. I guess it takes a while for them to die in here. We'll probably have to come up with a better way. But anywho, I'm going to keep talking about this. So yeah, we got the same thing just mirrored on the other side. And then there's the killing chamber. Um, it goes all the way up, but that's just for looks. It really doesn't matter. The mobs will never go up there. Um, but I'm wondering where would be the best place to AFK. So like I noticed that if I'm standing right there or underneath, the ones at the back fill up, but those two are sort of sort of uh, slighted. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move the, the killing chamber down to bedrock. Um, and then have a way to bring the the mobs up, or sorry, the mob drops up. Um, I think if the killing chamber is done at bedrock, so I'm talking about just that little area right down there. Um, if we move that down to bedrock, the guardians will fall, and then hopefully they'll take a lot of damage when they fall, and then they'll die faster. Because uh, right now they're only falling about three blocks. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, I got the dark prismarine on the top. Um, and then I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do um, with, with the rest of this. Now... Our base is going to be above here. We're going to make a big circle and it's going to be another crazy... Like, look at the rates right here. This is absolutely insane. There's so many guardians. And I'm, I'm sure that there's ways where there could probably be more. But, like, see right here... 
since we're up more, I guess is the the right place to AFK, except for those two aren't working. So if we go down to bed, and we got like lightning going on, if we move down to bedrock, I think it'll just be the best. But this is absolutely ridiculous. This is exactly what I wanted, and this is going to be perfect for us to have for XP, for Prismarine. I really like building with these blocks. See, they just spawned right there, but I'm not exact. I don't know. Someone in the comments, please help me. If you know about these mob behaviors, or you know about spawning distances, please help, because I've read a lot of stuff, and I still don't get it so um the one thing i also noticed is we're getting little fish like that i'm not sure if you can see that on youtube but like little clown fish and stuff also spawning in the system so we're getting uh we're also getting squids too so we're getting ink sacks which will help for our um dark prismarine but uh i think I've, i think i've said everything i wanted to say i put the sea lanterns in so nothing could spawn up there because that's the last thing i wanted some creeper dive bombing on me or something um, but yeah, and I think I want to have the iron farm somewhere really close by because I want it to be a part of our main base. Oh no. <laughs> the phantom got me. Oh, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> well, that'll be great for YouTube. Um, yeah, the phantom got me. Okay, so we need to get over there really quickly then because we need to... Uh, get to our stuff and i totally forgot that i hadn't slept i never brought a bed over there with me i was just working through the night um and i don't even think we have any of our boats over here no we don't okay we need to okay you no know we're just gonna swim uh wow that was totally not something i thought was gonna happen and oh my god we're gonna die here and lose all of our stuff okay um yeah, but anywho, we're going to work on the killing chamber, and I'm going to move that down to bedrock, and then work, figure out some way where we'll have, like, stairs that go down to bedrock. Like, I want to make this floor of this guardian farm look as pretty as I possibly can, and then obviously we're going to put glass in here instead of sand in the end. I just am not going to do that yet, because I have not physically had, like, enough time to, like, smelt that much glass. I can make a huge super smelter and it still probably take forever so um we're gonna leave the sand for now but we're gonna devise that killing chamber and we're gonna make it better and uh yeah that's what we're gonna be doing so let's just really quickly get back to our stuff and then let's see if all these things fill up with uh with guardians so yeah as you can see it looks like they've already started spawning and like like see we just walked here and there's already a ton of guardians here this is exactly how i wanted this to work so I am very, very happy with the way this things have worked out with this. And we'll set our respawn point here because why not? The only other thing, as I said before, is we're going to definitely have to have a better storage system because eventually four hoppers well, and one chest is not going to be able to keep up with this. Um, and you know, we might actually still be losing drops. I'm not sure why they're not just completely coming through here. I don't know. We are going to refine this system. So let's make some progress and then I will come right back. All right, guys, so I've been here, we're doing some work in the world for a little bit, and uh, one thing that's absolutely crazy, I'll say again, is the amount of drops that we've gotten. So, like, I literally cannot store this stuff fast enough, and the hoppers that we used to have here actually can't keep up. So, as of right now, I'm actually losing every drop, and it's interesting there's a puffer fish in there, I guess they spawn, but... There are so many of these guys, and moving down there, I think, has really kicked up the rates a little bit. I think I have to be a certain distance away um, for mobs to be able to spawn, so I think I think we figured that out. But, like, wow, like, guys, just, like, look at this. This is insane, and I'm glad I left glass in here so we can see everything. There are just so many guardians coming. So, I mean, temporarily, we're just going to have them dying there, and then what I'm going to do this episode is I'm actually going to dig out um, the a place for a storage room. And then either we're going to make an iron farm or we're going to just try and do it with the iron we have. I don't know. We'll have to go caving a lot. I know an iron farm is a big project and I, I have big plans for that. But we might need it. But either way, I want to get the chest at least going into a rough storage system just so we're not losing these drops. Because look, these are sea lanterns and things we could be making. So yeah. One thing I wanted to do on camera, just because I figured it would be cool, is I need to drop these guys down to there. Um, so we're going to do that right now and just hopefully they don't pop out of here. Um, I have seen some glitches of these guys jumping through the like diagonal blocks, but I figured I would do this on camera cause it would probably look pretty cool. Um, and if I didn't do it, I would probably regret it later. So, Oh, there they all go. Oh, see. So like one of them, one of them got out. That's going to be no problem though. So we'll go kill this guy. We should probably name him and actually just keep him, but whatever. We're not going to. And okay, the other thing is this back chunk here, as I pointed out earlier, does have a slime farm, or, or sorry, is a slime chunk. So we are going to be able to find some way to maybe farm some slimes in the future and then have that uh, in addition to, you know, how we're currently doing things. So yeah, that seems to have worked. Um, 
ignore this. I was going to have like a water elevator going down, but then I decided I was going to do stairs. So we're going to do stairs on either side, and then we're going to probably dig this back out really far. I want to have the biggest and like most grand storage room you could possibly think of for these guys. I'm probably going to go back like 25 blocks, and then we're going to do like just an absolutely bonkers, insane like uh, storage room sorting system. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to take a lot of iron though, and it's going to take a lot of time, but keeping with the theme of this let's play so far if you are enjoying the theme of let's just do crazy things uh yeah we're doing it so i am going to get to digging and we don't even have a beacon i should probably go and get a beacon right now and do all that but i mean i just i don't have i mean we haven't even fought the ender dragon yet this is literally episode three and we're trying to do like end game storage stuff this is one other thing i wanted to mention i love having squids in here because we're getting the ink sacks as well so when we do our sorting system we're gonna have to factor that in but yeah we are doing like end game things in episode two and i hope it's entertaining for you guys because i know there's a lot of people out there who are making content around minecraft i hope i'm somewhat different i'm at least somewhat enjoyable so i am going to dig all of this out now with just like efficiency five and uh, i will be back when this is done and we have the storage room or whatever we're doing sort of laid out so uh yeah catch you in a minute all right guys so we have cleared out a little bit of area underneath here um, as you can see the top is the stone floor that we put in when we made the entirety of our ocean monument the exact same level so it's good that we did that because that gives us a great canvas to work off of um, i have come to the realization so my realization is that i want to be able to store all the the drops from the guardians but i want to make a grand storage room like i'm thinking like this width back three times and then like maybe put the ceiling as glass so you can see down and you can see all the chests and 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 all this like i have so many ideas that i want to do for under here but the problem is is i don't have any iron and i don't have anywhere near enough to do probably one one hundredth of what I want to do <laughs> that's probably well that is a big problem so what we're gonna do is after doing one massive you know project making these guardians doing all this clearing the entire thing yeah all that um, we're gonna now make an iron farm and it's these two sort of go hand in hand you can't do anything big like this and have any crazy projects um, unless you have an iron farm because you need to make hoppers you need to I, I have to make like for this I'm thinking like probably like a double chest of double chests so my idea for this is huge and it's gonna look amazing in a video but the problem is I don't have the iron farm so what we're gonna do in the rest of the video is we're gonna do just that. We're gonna make an iron farm. I'm gonna follow a design that I got right off of YouTube because I've, I don't know much about iron farms. I used to know a lot about them back when like the iron trench was like the thing that was around, like Tango Tex. Um, apparently iron farms have changed a lot, but there's some good news as well, meaning that the iron farms apparently in this version and in like this era of Minecraft don't take a lot of time to make which is awesome. So we're going to do just that. We're going to make an iron farm. Where am I going to put it? I actually haven't decided yet. I'm going to probably take a little bit of time to think about where I want it to go. Um, but in the meantime, I have so many of these drops already. I have like seven double chests. We're just going to let them sit here because I literally don't have any more room to store anything. And I don't even have a regular storage room yet. So we, for the meantime, these guys are just going to die and all this is going to be wasted, unfortunately. Another thing, what do you guys think about this? I'm not exactly sure what I'm feeling about this. Um, I was thinking how I was going to do this room and like, I kind of like this. We could probably put some stuff here on the sides to give it a little bit more depth. And then we'd have like a four by four walkway through here. Maybe put something. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. So let me know down in the comments. But I do know I want to use spruce. I'm probably not going to leave this wall just flat. Like I'm going to add some additional stuff to it. But spruce does look good um, alongside prismarine. And then that's just there for right now. Because I have no idea what I'm going to do with the room under here. So yeah, we are going to go and make an iron farm because we absolutely need one. And yeah, so when I come back, I will have some idea, some place and some I don't I'm going to figure out how to build an iron farm in this version. So I'll be back in a little bit. Hey. Yeah, our base looks a lot different from outside. Ah, oh, this took so long, and I, like, really don't want to have to redo this again four times. 
Uh, guys, uh, again, I um, have gone a little bit... Can he see me through here? Yeah, he's trying to pathfind to me. I wonder why the creeper doesn't. Or maybe he's not. I don't know. That's weird. Um, anyways, guys, yeah, I uh, went overboard again. So, I, I know in the last cut, I said I'm going to go get some plans ready for an iron farm and everything. And then... I walked over to the corner and I was going to take my water elevator up and I went, you know what, like, I want to see what this would look like, you know, with, with glass. So this is what one side looks like. Again, I did the white glass. White glass is just a thing of mine. <laughs> I was thinking of doing some other colors, but I feel like white glass is the most transparent so we can see through it the best. And we want to show off the ocean. Um, I also had to clear quite a bit of the ocean here just because it was, uh, it was like another level above that here. Um, I tried to make it sort of thinned out naturally. I don't think I did a very good job, <laughs> but I'm not the best at terraforming. So like, yeah, it'll just be like this for a while and then eventually we'll clear out because then, you know, it's not super far until the ocean gets a little bit deeper. But, you know, the one thing I got to say is it is kind of cool. The aquatic update, like I never really did a lot of exploring with this. I never, I haven't played since before this came out. And like there are like freaking underground caves that are like, like this is just really cool. I've never swam underneath an ocean. They used to be so boring. I guess this would be a good way to get gravel. I, are people doing this like for for um, uh, concrete and everything? I don't know. So anyways, I'll show you what this looks like from the inside. And then I'll tell you my plans about our iron farm. We are going to build one. And it may kind of shock you what we're going to do. Well, I mean, probably won't. But uh, anyways, let me just quickly... Going to light this up. We aren't even collecting the drops, and this iron farm has been going crazy, or this guardian farm, sorry. It's been going crazy for like the last like two hours, and uh, yeah, we're just letting it all go because we're so rich, because we have so many guardians, and we don't need to even worry about it. But yeah, wow. It's actually one of the, this is like the first time I've seen it from inside. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it looks really good. I'm, I'm really like a big fan of it. One thing that I noticed is that this farm is built like off to the side. It's not in the center, like it's built off like one block. So that sand wall over there, we have to bring in two blocks. So I don't know, I just figured I'd point that out. You know, no one's perfect. I can't believe I didn't build this in the center. Like I'm an idiot, like I must've counted wrong, like one, two, three, four, five, or like, I don't know what I did, but yeah, it's kind of messed up. So that is what it looks like. I am a huge fan of this. And I think it's gonna look even better once we get all four sides in. I really like how we can see through here. Um, yeah, wow. That looks pretty freaking cool. And I'm going to get mauled by a slime. I was actually AFKing while I went and like ate some food and did some things around the house. And I, I got mauled by one of these guys. That's why I'm level 7. I didn't like die for no reason. I got absolutely s just smushed by a slime. Um, so we'll get rid of these guys. Okay, so here's the plan. I think that the slime chunk is in this corner. So we're not going to do it here. Yeah, we're going to build the iron farm right here on the backside. I think that we can do it. We're not going to make a massive one. I think if anything, we're going to make like a double one. So like it'll like hang off of this side and hang off of this side. We're going to build it with prismarine too. Because why not? We're going to build everything down here with prismarine, I think. Um, and then our massive storage room underneath is going to come all the way out. And then there will be like an iron golem killing chamber. This entire room, this entire floor is just going to be like full of farms and stuff. I, you know what? I don't want to build it way off in the middle of nowhere because when I AFK, I want to AFK here at the same time. So we'll have like the ultimate, like guys, it's going to be crazy. We're just going to have farms down here galore. We'll have like farms lining the walls. Well, not when they're made of glass, but like underground, we're going to have just farms for everything iron this we're gonna have sugarcane melons pumpkins like literally anything you can think of we're gonna fit in this space down here so yeah i really like the way that the glass turned out this will probably be the thumbnail for the video maybe maybe we'll do this or no i want that out of the way i don't know we will figure it out but yeah we're gonna get the basis of an iron farm built i'm gonna go with something a design that's not super efficient it doesn't take a lot of redstone it's not very hard to build and you know what i don't care because i am sick and tired at least for this episode of building crazy things and i know you can make iron farms absolutely insane but i've had some issues with them on another server i was recently playing on just like tr helping like a friend troubleshoot one that he built and learning all the rules and they're super complicated about how close they have to be together and everything so we're just going to make a simple one and get some golem spawning because I want to finish this and I want to do other stuff, um, but it'll it'll still be like a good iron farm. Like I'm talking like maybe like a double chest in like a couple hours. So maybe we'll do like three pods or I don't know. We're going to figure it out. So I will be back when I get that going. 
All right, guys, so we've got quite a good amount of progress done, and I'm just going to just show the progress and sort of talk over it to uh, let you know what we've done. So to start off, we are going to do our iron farms inside of here um, really quickly first. It just says this wall needs to come in by two blocks because I actually didn't build this in center, and it's really annoying, and I don't want to tear it all down and put it back up. So we're just going to shift this and then it'll be all even and symmetrical and everything um but yeah we've got a lot to talk about i've been busy here and one of the problems with not having a storage room is that you just get this and stuff is everywhere and you don't know you know where to find anything and yeah the not having a storage room is definitely irritating me and also i have been losing drops on this farm for about five hours now because i've been doing all this kind of crap and i don't have a pickup system yet but we do have some good news. So I'm just going to pillar up here. And then we've also got a break because I I just got the... Or actually, I don't even have the killing chamber set up. Let's do that first. Um, I have to set up the killing chamber for the iron golems. And I've got what I need. Hopefully enough of it. Um, yeah, I should be good. So I'm going to pop down here. Anyways, guys, uh, I've cleared out a little bit more of this. This is the most annoying thing in the entire world to do without a beacon. <laughs> um, I definitely am going to get a beacon in future episodes because I cannot, like, like I cannot dig this out with Division 2 5 anymore. I'm going to go insane. It takes so long, and I know what instant mine feels like. Um, and it's just frustrating. It's very frustrating, but we, uh, we just got to make do, I guess, with what we have. So, anywho, let's just, you know what, I'm talking. Let's just get this in here. So, for my killing chambers, when I do these, I like to put, like, I'll do a double chest like this. And then, uh, one, that one goes in there, that one goes in there, and then, whoops, that one goes in there. Let's break this. Where did that go? There it is. Um, okay, now I need, okay, I obviously don't, don't have what I need, because that's just, you know, what I do, and I'm throwing stuff everywhere. Uh, I need some science. Actually, you know what? I have so many, like, guys, I have so many signs. Oh, I'm sorry, because I was doing the um, uh, water paths up here. So essentially what I think I'm going to do, and obviously we're going to have a better way to decorate this in the future. It's all very rough, but we're going to have an iron farm in every corner. We're going to have one, two, three, four. We're just doing a simple design like this. I will show you in a minute when we go up, and then we're going to have water streams that bring the golems, and then they're going to kill them right in the middle, and they're going to kill them right next to these guys. Um, I know these two pillars are different. I'm going to put uh, dark prismarine in here and we're going to decorate this room and i know i keep saying like we're going to do stuff but like don't worry we're going to do stuff you're going to come back next episode and this is going to be changed so <laughs> uh don't worry about it from that st uh, that standpoint but okay we're going to put those up now i need to remember exactly how to do this i think i do that and then put the lava in there and then the lava won't move actually i move it up one more sorry uh because golems are three blocks tall and can be killed by up to three blocks. So we will do that there, that there, that there, and the lava there. So like the majority of their drops don't get burnt up in here because the uh, iron ingots don't fly up and the po uh, poppies don't fly up. So I think if we do this, all streams lead to here. And then obviously we can be under because we're two blocks tall, but the golems cannot. We're going to test it here in a minute. Um, did I just use my fortune pick? Of course I did. Um, so we're going to close this up and then all items should carry into here. So let's run back up to the top. We've got to unplug the little uh, block that I put up. Uh, like just, oh, look at all this. We're missing all of it. No, oh, it's so annoying. But anyways, um, also side note down here, this massive storage room, this is going to be like of epic proportions. I'm going to have to cut like a million trees just to make that happen. Okay, so Donut, how the hell did you manage to get villagers in here? And it was actually like the most annoying thing I've ever done in my entire life because if you like look at my world and I'll show, I'll actually, I'm going to put in right now on a picture of Admist, like a picture of the map. There are no villages close to this ocean monument. The only ones are, well, obviously you can see this one to the right here. Um, and that's the one that we used. If you do remember, that's the one that we went to and built that like crappy kind of tree farm the other episode. Um, so basically all we did was put villagers in boats and then move them to the nether. And then I have this little temporary portal here, which I'm going to get rid of, um, drop them into there. The zombie, because there's a zombie. Actually, I haven't even explained how this farm works. Okay. You know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. So there's a zombie back there. 
and we got him in you'll see it in a second the pistons come down we got him just by i just let it be nighttime got turned away all these torches and everything and then we just mine carted him up here i uh, gave him a name tag just named him like zombie we found it in the skelly spawner from the very first episode um wait till this drops actually yeah um where did the zombie go wait what did our zombie die what what in the world why did our zombie die how did our zombie die i had him named how did he do oh my god are you kidding me i've got to move another what happened is he not in there anymore um okay i have no idea where he went um was it you <laughs> uh ooh. 22 carats for an emerald okay <laughs> what what how did that even happen okay so we're back and i have literally hurt my brain thinking about this the only thing i can think of that might have happened is i did not have slabs on here originally so i think he might have burned <laughs> Because I let the one Iron Golem spawn, then I blocked this off, and then I didn't cover this. He must have burned. I don't know. And now we got Pigman popping out of here. Uh, yeah, he must have burned, I guess. So we will have to put another one in there. But, wow, that is really weird and really stupid. Okay. Anyways... I have a hopper timer set up and those blocks there are on pistons and every 45 items that moves between so like 45 seconds the pistons come down the zombies scare the villagers they go oh my god I need you to save me and then the iron golem pops in here I've spawn proof the rest of this and this is too high in the air for the iron golems to spawn on the ground. So they'll only spawn in this water stream which will thus push them in here and I actually haven't tested this yet so this could totally fail. But we're going to break these and then we're going to see what happens here. So he will get sent off. He'll land in the, in the water stream. I also got Depth Strider for my boots because it was starting to piss me off with them uh, um, or with me doing the glass over there. Um, what do you mean you're not going? Why aren't you coming? I think they will eventually. Is it? Can I not do water streams like that? Are you kidding me? Why isn't... Why aren't you going? Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Are they not... Are they seriously not going to go if I do water like this? <sighs> it's never easy, is it? <laughs> oh my god. Why aren't you going to go? This episode has taken me like forever. Okay. So... Oh, it's because it's pushing him straight into there. Okay. So, I guess what I'm going to have to do is have water push them to here and then have the empty block there. Do I have enough stuff on? Okay, you know what? We're going to do this on camera because this episode is going to be over in a little bit and I haven't really recorded much compared to how much I've done. So, you know what? We're going to do this on camera. So, okay, we've got more of these. I'm going to jump up my sea land. This guy's going to drive me nuts. One, two, and then what if we broke the water here? I know it's quick, but we'll break it here and then place this. Whoops. Place this down. I think this should fix it. Um, and then take this one and then do like a mega sign thing. It goes like this all the way to here, I think. Okay, wait, I don't want you to go yet because I want to be able to see what happens when you go. Okay. Um, and then if I break this one, the water should flow. I think that'll work. I'm going to go with this. I think that'll work. So then I'll just have to do the same to this side. And then, yeah, they'll get pushed to here. And then when they're in this block, then they'll be pushed. Okay, that's totally going to work. Okay, I solved it. Science, math, we did it. Okay, we're good. Um, this is Silk Touch... I want to be able to quickly get out of here and watch this guy die. Yeah, I want to watch you die. We're going to lose this, but I don't really care because we have like a million of them. Okay. And then when he falls in here, it should be all good, I think. Push, push. 
Burn, burn, burn. I think it takes like 10 hits in lava for them to die. I don't exactly remember. Okay, but I mean, it's obvious this is going to work. And he dies. Okay, let's go check if we got his iron. All these like just chests everywhere is driving me nuts. I don't normally not finish builds, but I've also never built anything this big. And then, boom. Okay, so we never got any poppies. They probably burned or he didn't drop any, but we got four iron. And we got to go put a zombie back up there so we can like AFK. And <laughs> um, yeah, just get lots of iron. The whole point of this and, you know... I'm not exactly probably going to build all four of those right away because that took forever and it was super annoying. I mean, let's just be real. You'll probably come back and they'll probably all be built. But, I mean, we needed at least one of them to give us some iron. If I AFK all night, that'll probably give us, I don't know, like 40 stacks, maybe 50 stacks, depending on how long I sleep. And then we need to really hook this up because we are just losing everything. But we can't do that until this is done. So we're going to actually have one night AFKing, I guess, where we just let those guys die um but yeah so we got to get a new zombie in there and uh this thing oh my god this has been running for like five hours i don't understand like this is from one like these three are from about an hour of game time or an hour of recording time our storage room for all this and obviously we're gonna get totally full because even if i afk for like eight hours it's gonna be totally full eventually so I think what we're going to do, and this is going to be absolutely like ridiculous, I don't think I realize the scale of this project um, right now, but we are going to have, so I'm going to I'm gonna lay it out here. Here, let's talk about what it's going to be. So underneath here, this is going to be glass, and we are going to see an ice stream with some water that is going to take all the items and shoot them this way. Then underneath here, in our very last hopper, right here, it's gonna go into a dropper and that's gonna shoot the iron ingots right down and they're gonna go all in the exact same water stream. So all the items are gonna to go together. So this room is gonna have like a glass floor right here and you can see the items coming through. We're gonna push this out probably like, I don't know, 15, maybe 20 blocks further. I don't know, however big the ocean monument is. We might even just mine all this out. You know what, I keep saying like, oh, we're gonna do something. No, we're gonna, we're gonna go grand with it. So we're going to push that back, and then on the wall, there's going to be glass that shows the items going up. And then they're probably going to all wrap around like this. And I'm going to have to have like a spot here where you can see the items go up, across, and then wrap around and wrap around and wrap around until they get back here. And then the ones that are the excess, so if the chests are all full, we're going to have like six chests stacked up. If they're all full, they're going to get shot just into lava or something, and then... Yeah, because the way our item sorter is going to work is if the hoppers are full, that'll mean the chests are full and the items just keep on sliding around. You're going to see it all eventually once we do it. It's going to take quite a bit of work, but uh, that's that's how it's going to be. And this is going to be all chests and they'll probably be labeled. So you'll see like fish and prismarine, prismarine shards and iron. We won't need as many chests as we, we won't need as many chests for the iron as we're going to need for these guys because we can get like 10,000 of these all at once and we only get like a couple iron golems. Uh, every like 45 game ticks hopefully we'll be getting four at a time so i mean you do the math whatever that is in an hour um and then yeah we're just going to be filling up these chests i'm probably going to have the iron ones first over here and then obviously over time we might expand this we might also have some sugarcane farms underground or up top or i, I don't i don't exactly know how all well this is going to look yet but this will be like the insane just like bulk storage room of death <laughs> and then on top, uh, if we can go up here really quick, and I'm going to show you guys. I really like this glass, by the way. This was definitely a good idea. So we've done a lot this episode. We built this entire thing. We did the glass. We got underneath. Like We are crushing it and doing a ton in these episodes, and I, I really hope you guys are enjoying them because I'm really enjoying making them. And this is something I'd probably be doing anyways, and I'm just glad I can share it with uh, the few people who do watch. So thank you guys. But um, yeah. I think that the middle of this guardian farm, like, I mean, the top of it is going to be sort of like, like, I don't know, ground zero for our base. And then we're going to build up like a circle that just kind of cascades up with slabs, half slabs, half slabs, half slabs until they reach the top. And then we might even build like a bigger circle around this square and have this square like a part of the circle. I'm not exactly sure yet. That's a really big statement and it's a lot of work to do and i'm not exactly sure if i really have the minecraft cojones i guess to do them um but 
we are playing this for the first time in forever, and I do want to make a crazy world. Like, look at all the Guardians. Like, that's insane. So, yeah, guys, that is sort of the plan. The Drowned are so annoying. There is, like, always a million of them around my base. And I haven't seen one with a Trident yet. I don't exactly know how those spawn. Um, but, yeah, they're annoying. Okay, why is that doing that? The textures are bugging out. Or is that just the way the light hits? Okay, I don't even know. But anyways, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys have done in your Minecraft worlds. If you've ever done something as ambitious as this. And if you have any, like, mega builds like this, literally, like, paste the link in the comments. Like, you can put a link down there and show me. Because I really want to see. Uh, I think it would be awesome to see your, your builds. And, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys have done. So, that is going to do it for today's episode. And, once again, thank you so much for watching. We're going to be uploading these probably one to two to every three days. This one, I'm actually recording... Oh, no. We're going to die. <laughs> I forgot that it was, like, left and right. And it was opposite when I'm looking like this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I promise I'm a pro, guys. I promise I'm a pro Minecraft player. Minecraft player. But anyways, um, I'll just, I'm going to stop talking. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.